Hey guys, gonna make a little different video today. Um, I was preparing some feed and uh, I thought I'd make a quick video on what I use, some of the things I use, some of the meds I use, uh, some of the products you can pretty much pick up anywhere, other products you have to order online uh, or find a local feed store that may have them. Uh, what I have here is what I'm gonna feed my birds today. This is roughly you know, maybe four pounds, five pounds of feed right here. And I'm doing, let's see, 80 birds or so. It might be a little excessive, but I still have a few young birds that are being fed, so I like to give them just a bit extra. Uh, today's menu is a little bit of oil on the feed, and I'll show you what I use here. Went to the health food store, and I was able to find flax seed oil for animals. Um, don't really know the difference between human consumption and animal consumption. Um, but I figure it can't hurt. I mean, it's for animals. That's what it's for. Um, so I'll dose this down with a little bit of oil. Uh, and then today's menu was uh, Brewer's Yeast. I, got, I get this from the local feed store. Uh, the bag, the pink bag here is just pink vitamin mineral. Uh, I sometimes use a spoon of that and a spoon of Brewer's Yeast. This time around, I just use the Brewer's Yeast on the oil. You can see it's fairly dry now. There is no exact measurements, guys. I mean, just use rule of thumb here, you know. I mean, a little oil goes a long way. So be conservative on your oil and then just add enough brewer's yeast or whatever you're using to kind of dilute that oil so your grain isn't sticky. It kind of just kind of falls apart. Um, but there's no real rule. I mean, it all depends on how much you feed, how many pounds. Um, most of you guys already know this. Some of you, If you guys don't, I'm ho I hope I'm helping out. Um, some of the other things I use primarily is the red cell. I got this off of Dr. Lamberton's uh, YouTube page. He uses it quite a bit. I love it. Uh, I love the smell. The birds seem to love it. The more, the moment I put it down, they seem to go after it more than anything else. Um, you know, apple cider vinegar in the water. I also use, I get this at Tractor Supply, Save a Chick Electrolyte. One packet to one gallon. It can't get any easier. It looks like orange Kool-Aid or orange Gatorade if, if that helps out. That's kind of what it looks like when I'm mixing it. Now the liquid cal or cal quick liquid calcium uh, is what I use when my hens are going down on eggs. So a couple weeks before uh, I made them up or even while I made them up once a week sometimes twice a week I'll put a tablespoon of that on the feed and then dry it up with some brewer's yeast or some vitamin mineral. Um, I'm not a big add to water guy. I like adding it to my feed. Uh, I feel like I can control how much they eat. Not necessarily per pigeon, but I can control that I'm feeding it. Uh, and then they're all eating. I mean, I don't know if one drinks one time versus one drinks 10 times a day. Um, but basically that's it. This is the oil that I use. I used to use wheat dram oil as well. Uh, I currently do not. Let me see if I still have it here in my fridge. So that's what I use quite a bit as well. Uh, I'm starting to not favor that. I don't know why. I don't. Uh, I have no specific reason why I don't like it. Um, I just kind of don't. Um, I like the flaxseed oil a little bit better. Uh, maybe it's the smell. I don't know. Maybe the fact that this is in a glass bottle. I don't, maybe it's. I don't know. I just. I don't like using it as much. As you can tell, this is pretty much full, uh, and I'm running out of this already. So. Um, twice a week I'll mix either once a week I'll mix the brewer's yeast on the feed uh, and then a couple days after that I'll do the red cell on the feed uh, I've tried mixing red cell or adding red cell down to my feed and then adding the brewer's yeast but it just seemed to clump up it didn't seem to to um, act the way the oil and the and the brewer's yeast act I mean just kind of falls apart it's basically grain just covered in a little bit of uh, brewer's yeast there you can you can just feel it it's a little granularly but I don't like the way the red cell acts, so I just put red cell on its own. Um, as for apple cider vinegar, I do that um, almost every day, to be honest with you. I don't give them a break unless I'm adding some sort of um, electrolyte or I'm adding medication or anything like that. I don't, I mean, I just give it to them every day. And again, I use, um, I don't use a measurement of any sort. I just kind of dump it in there and kind of get an idea of what I need. I use gallon and a half drinkers. And I normally don't fill them all the way up, so I just treat them as a gallon drinker. And I'll usually put, 
if I had to estimate, um, maybe three catfuls per gallon is about as much as I use. And I like to get the unfiltered, uh, unpasteurized if you can, or I don't even know if that's just comes unpasteurized. But uh, this seems to be the best. I like when I'm looking at the bottom of it, there's always something there. Um, I don't like buying the stuff that you just almost clear, crystal clear, maybe a little tint to it. Uh, but that's basically what I use. Uh, three times a week I'll give them that. Also, I don't have it out here. Let me grab that for you. Just give me a second here. I'll set you down. Ugh. Sorry about that. I'm going to run it through the house here. Probios. This is the probiotic I use. And I usually give this on Saturday, Sunday. Mostly just Sunday. Um, the same way. A little bit of oil. A little bit of probios. Uh, on the feed. Honestly, I mean, unless, unless you can tell me different, I've never really seen a huge difference in the bird themselves. Uh, whether I give it to them or not. Maybe I'm not as aware of as some people may be. Um, I just don't. I don't see any difference when I give them the red cell or when I give them... Well, I, let, me, let me rephrase that. I don't see a difference in the bird after I've given them any of these things. Uh, I do notice that they like the red cell a lot. Uh, they like the smell of it. They also like the brewer's yeast quite a bit. But I don't see a difference uh, long term. I mean, they all, I mean, I've had birds for 20 years now, and they, I, you know, this is the first year I've been really up, up, with my, you know, uh, you know, supplements. And I honestly, I don't see a huge, huge difference. Maybe the the liquid calcium helps the hens a bit, uh, but everything else I just add because I made it a routine, and I like to follow that routine as best as possible. And so these are some of the things I use. Now back here. Uh, when my birds got sick, these are the two medications that I used. The Duramycin 10 I picked up from the feed store. And I used that for a, for a week or two weeks. I'm not 100% sure. And I didn't get very good results with the disease that I had. Now, asking around at the local club, this is what they told me to get. And this is what I got. After this, my birds started getting a lot better. And they started getting putting weight back on, starting to eat, starting to drink. Um, so that definitely helped me quite a bit, but just that, uh, apple cider vinegar and then the electrolytes to get them going again, cause you can see they're pretty thirsty. Um, but there it is. That's, that's basically what I use. Uh, I do use occasionally some garlic. Um, uh, and then I have a hard time giving garlic. I just, I can't find a, an easy way to give a hundred pigeons garlic. Uh, so most times I usually put it in the water. Again, I don't like putting anything in the water i don't know how much they're drinking if they're over drinking or if they're under drinking but uh, with the garlic unfortunately that's the only way i've so far i've found that i can use it um, i have seen garlic and oil things like that i have not tried it um, if anybody has please let me know how it goes for you again for me i'm not very aware for better words here um, i just don't see i don't see any real difference in the bird Maybe they're growing much better than they used to and I'm just not noticing it. But uh, I figure it can't hurt. Everybody kind of said the same thing, you know, brewer's yeast to apple cider vinegar, you know, and some of the other things that I add uh, just because I can find the stuff locally and I don't have to outsource or outsource, Jesus. I don't have to order online because I don't like ordering anything online, to be honest with you. I like to find it, see it, buy it. But uh, like I said, just a quick video on what I do. Uh, I'm going to go call the birds in. They've been out for about an hour now. Um, and this, again, I feed all my birds, breeders, prisoners, flyers, all the same mix for right now. Once I get them down the road further on, I'm going to switch to a racing mix. This right here is just, is, is basically called Y2K, and it's just a mix of different grains. You see it's got large, small, I mean, it's got a little bit of everything, and they love it. I like giving them as much grain as I can possibly get in one bag without mixing. I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, and this seems to be the best. And it's relatively inexpensive. I can get it from the feed store um, for under 20 bucks, 17, 18 bucks, something like that. Uh, the racing mix is a little bit more expensive, but again, that's when they're down the road. I want to make sure they have, you know, the carbohydrates they need, the fats they need, things like that. But for breeding, I think this is by far the best. It's 18% protein uh, and it seems to do well. I mean, I like I said, I, I have no issues. They leave nothing behind. Occasionally, they'll leave some of the small grain, the real small canary seed. They'll leave some of that behind once they've had enough. But uh, all the large grain are gone. So I don't know if that's a good thing, a bad thing. It's just one thing I noticed. Um, but that, that's what I got. Don't mind the, the 
spices back there. I'm in the kitchen right now and the wifey's not home, so I figured I'd make a quick video to show you guys. But that's what I use. If you guys have any comments or any questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to, to answer them. Thanks, guys.